In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create this nice vertical hoover line the moment we trigger the tooltip as you see here. So let's find out. So to do this, the first thing what we need is our border template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com, getting started. And once you scroll down here, copy this code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to have the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, got a question, put it on Discord. So what we're going to do here now is to create the Hoover effect where we have a vertical line. To do that, we're going to scroll down here and just convert this first into a line chart. And in this case, I would like to have two data sets. So we're going to copy that, put a comma paste, and I'll just change the colors on these so we have some differences. And of course, have a few different values. So we have here a flat line, and this one here will be the red color. Save that. Refresh. There we are, weekly sales. I guess we could change that to say red, and this is black save there we are all right to do now the hoover effect what i first want is to make sure that once we hoover on the index it will automatically trigger to do that we're going to scroll down here and there's an interaction and then once we are in the interaction we're going to select the mode it will be based on index and of course to complete this we need to say intersect set on false basically it will indicate if we have to touch a certain point we don't want to touch we just want to say once we are hovering as near as possible to the index it will trigger as you can see here now what we need to do is having this straight line and of course these dots being colored as well luckily the dots are quite easy to do so what i'm going to do here is it going to grab this border color here and then I'm going to enter, put it in here, but I'll say here the point hoover background color. Say here background color. And of course the same applies for the above one. But of course here we need to make sure we get this background color, which is the red color. So if I save this, refresh, let's hoover, and as you can see here now, they're both getting solid red and solid black. Final item is to create that line that will recognize where we are. So what I'm going to do here, put a comma, say plugins, and then we're going to say here the, um, what is this, the vertical hoover line. Copy that. Constant will be equal to this. Then I say the ID. Oh, make sure we have here the curly braces of brackets. Curly braces, sorry. Then we're going to say here the ID will be equal to the same name. And of course, we're going to say here before we draw the data sets, we need to make sure that this line is drawn first. Very important, or else we'll overlap on top of the lines and the dot. We don't want that. So we want to be behind the lines. So we're going to arc and plugin options. And then I'm going to say here, constant. And this is the uh, chart, the uh, object destructuring of chart.js. And then we'd say here, not object, but CTX. And then probably what I need here is the chart area, specifically top, bottom, and height, or probably I need two of the three. I'll just put them all in there for now, and we can always fine tune and remove the unneeded items. So now, what I want to do here, ctx.save, to save all variables above, and I'm going to say ctx.begin path. I'm going to create a line, but this line is independent of anything else, so we have to make sure we have that, and then I'm going to define a color for this. So I'm going to say ctx.stroke style for a color, let's give it a British gray. And then we're going to say here ctx dot move to to define the x and y coordinates. So for this, this will be the x coordinate will be basically the index we're hovering on. As you can see here, what triggers it. So I'm going to use a trick for that. For now, I will just say very simple. I'm going to use the code, and we have to later on fine tune this code. So I say chart dot uh, 
get data set meta and then index zero dot data and we just say here index one dot x we don't we're going to use this for now so that will basically mean no matter where I hover it will always draw this line for now or I think by default it will just draw it without the hover consideration because they didn't put that in yet however later on next what I want to grab here is the top position because that is the next part then of course you're going to say the line 2 that is the connecting line and basically we're just going to grab this we're going to do on the X and then here instead of top we're going down to the bottom the top here of the chart area is this part here and the bottom is basically the bottom here so once we've got that we're going to say ctx dot stroke style to draw the line so we can save that and if I refresh you can see we get here this nice line but it doesn't move it doesn't recognize our hover effect so what I need to do now is making sure that this is triggered on the hover so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and then after the save I'm going to say here data dot for each and then here we're going to say here data point for every data point just go to loop through that and then we do this here so once we have this we have this shorthand we can just put in here that will help us already and then what we need to do of course is cut this out put it in there and then finally we need to say only draw if we are hovering on the item luckily charges has a built-in item for that which is called the data point dot active which just measures if we're hovering on a top item yes or no you can do a console log to check that but i will just skip that for now to keep this video brief so i'm going to say here if our data point active equals true in that case i'm going to put that in there cut that out put it in here then pop indentation here save that remove this excess of space i think here we can just clean up as well there we are save refresh there we are and as we hover you can see now nicely we have all of these things beautiful and that's how it works